Hi guys, welcome to the channel. First of all, I just want to say thanks to all of you guys that support the channel. You know, una too much. And uh, make una go subscribe to Reblog Media. I don't need to tell now. No, I don't need to do this. I don't need to more. I don't need to do more this PPG for this program. But some of you guys want to write me now. Send me how to use us uh, more. So I don't use them now. I'm right here to our brother. 6 9 Everweight Monster Undefeated. Okay. With 9 bouts and 9 knockouts. You know, 9 of his opponents. I don't know whether they see their life. <laughs> yes, that, what you call it, sweet, 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 suicide Avi. I mean, I mean, I call it that, brother. So, what's up, bro? How you doing? Doing well, man. How's it going with you? Yeah, man, it's good. What's popping in uh, in uh, in uh, Miami? Miami is Miami, man. It's warm. I mean, it's kind of cold right now, but you know, it's a little warm. The blue skies, the clouds are not out here, but you know, we're waiting for it. It's yeah, I like chilly. I like the fact that you came out with that uh, uh, Bella Schmuda, you know, <laughs> cash app. You know, you, you don't say me. I don't say that song. I I'm gonna tag. I'm gonna type uh, Aya Aya. You know, I go search for Aya Aya. I don't find her. I will search for uh, Back to Send. I don't find her. I never know that that cash app. Like I, I always hear that song. You know, like I was like, I'm, I must, I must find. I must. Yesterday, I, I took almost like. Around ten, about ten minutes to like really look for that uh, that uh, song, and I and I found it. So that win, brother, that win, that knockout. I know it's one thing. I want now, now straight, now straight right. Oh, like you got, you have that power, that raw power, and it's beginning to show show now. How do you I mean, feel about that? I was talking to my coach Glenn Johnson yesterday, and I was like, uh, when I hit him with the right, actually, I missed him with a. He hit me with an uppercut that I kind of chested, you know, it wasn't it didn't really connect, but I threw a, a one, two on the one, two, I chased his head. So I was going to where his head was instead of throwing it to the right place. I missed this. The, that's the one, two before the knockout. So I missed that one, two, then I hit it again. I threw it again, but I threw it to where I knew his head was going to be. So it was a quick jab and I just placed the right hand where it was supposed to be. I did not think that my actually I thought he was faking when he went down I thought it was faking because I didn't think that my power was I didn't I thought it was I mean I really thought that oh I know he hit you like that man I didn't touch you like that why are you gonna fall that way you know when I was in the ring that's what I was thinking like bro come on man don't just come here and take a knee or whatever you know like we're about to fight but when I went back to look at it you know I didn't really follow the fundamentals per se but I could tell that it was a good connection you know, based on me throwing the right hand where where I was supposed to throw it rather than where he was. You know, because usually when you throw a one, two, the man shifts his head and you're trying to follow the head and you miss. So I throw it like I threw a quick jab so that he couldn't slip and I fired the right hand where I practiced that his head is always going to be. So when I threw that, um, I didn't really throw it fundamentally, so I didn't feel like there was that much power. So when he dropped, I was like, bros, get up now. Well, come on, man. You know, then when I went back to look at the video, I was like, okay, this is dope. So when I was talking to my coach, Glenn Johnson, it was like, yeah, that's how it always is. Because sometimes you throw a right hand in a way that you feel like, I didn't even touch the guy like that. But you threw it in the right way and you directed all your power to the right place. So that's why sometimes you knock somebody out, you'd be like, that way. I didn't, I didn't, even, I didn't even put the effort into that. You know, so that's kind of what it was. So you guys will see it as, you know, power and all that. But I didn't feel it because I didn't put that much effort into it. It was just, I just placed it in the right way, in the right place. So that's you know how what? I feel about it. The guy did not see that that right hand coming, though. He didn't see it. <laughs> you know, I guess I guess the punch you don't see coming is the one that hurt the most, right? Like people say. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Because, you know, actually, before, when you're fighting, um, this is just take chicks to boxing. You want, there's a reason they say you should establish your jab. Because everything comes before the jab. One, there are, there are soft jabs, there are hard jabs, there are power jabs, there are body jabs. So there are different types of jabs that you have to establish. Because you're not going to know when that right hand will come. And because the jab has disguised everything. So I'm, I'm guessing because I really established my jab throughout the round, he felt like the only thing that's going to happen this round is just jabs. So that's why I didn't really throw a lot of right hands. I, th I think I threw a right hand in like the first couple minutes. 
that didn't really connect per se. I wasn't really comfortable with throwing the right hand at that time. But later into the rounds, you know, when I felt like I hurt him with like a jab or a body shot, then I started throwing the right. I started throwing the right way and, you know, I started sensing that the man was tired and he was trying to take a breather. So I had to like up the gas then and I'm kind of march it on him. You know, that's nice. I mean, um, the commentators were also very nice. You know, I, my, my friend, True School Sports and his dad did a very yeah. good job. They were very, they were, they were also objective, you know. Uh, you know, I know that you know, they had. They didn't just go there just to say all oh, things nice about you without you know criticizing you a little bit. I think that's nice. You know, that's what I love to see. Instead of people just going there and you look at some so many commentators on the zone, there have been a lot of complaints and top rank and all that. I like that. I think you should you should do with them again. I think it's nice. So, uh, 17th of April, you'll be right back in the ring, right? I I saw on mm -hmm. Boss Rick. Um, who are we looking at? Like anybody who have, like people are for a few now, eh? You know, you know, you listen. Anybody who have you now, they must pray. <laughs> I, I mean, they yeah, must like, pray my, because be, 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 because believe you me, huh? Even even though say they develop as a, as a boxer, yeah, you develop as a boxer. You don't do basketball. You don't do American football. Now you don't enter boxing. Mm? You don't get nine knockouts. You know, some people go to say, mm, but the guy's small, small now. Percy, way not like way doesn't even enter boxing. They destroy people like that. Imagine say, if you don't develop, like say you don't develop, go anybody will enter with you and die. Now you go to pray for for a last. You'll be like last bit yourself. I don't like okay. you, brother. Okay. <laughs> Not I true. Don't, I don't know. I don't. We don't know who are going to fight yet. I mean, we have mm. a matchmaker for that. Who's going to? Um, the truth is that I'm still in developing stages. I won't lie. I won't tell you that I'm a world championship fighter or a heavyweight contender at the moment. I'm just still in develop. I've, I've, I started boxing five years ago. That's when mm -hmm. the first time I got into a boxing ring. I, my first amateur fight was October of 2016. You know, and that's when I started really taking it seriously. You know, I'm sure that most of the guys that are at the top right now, they were at the top then. You know, so and the, the good guys are the good guys of now are still the good guys of that time. So um, I don't know who I'm going to fight. I'm not going to tell you that I'm going to fight. Uh, the goal is for me to fight somebody so that we can to fight somebody that can get us in the ranking to be to to, to fight for a world title by the end of this year because we believe that we're ready for that. And um, the guy that we're going to fight is going to be a tough guy. It's going to be a boxer. It's going to be somebody that, you know, we can beat and you will not have any doubt that we beat them con convincingly, you know. Um, you know, hopefully we win, you know, and I believe that we'll win. You know, we are, we are working hard every day in the gym. We've been working out every day in the gym for years. And now the things that we've been doing for years is starting to show up and that's what you're starting to see. You know, and uh, we have a lot more in the store for our future. You know, uh, like I said, we do anybody that anybody can get it, you know, from number one to number 1000. Anybody mm. can get it. All you have to do is step in the ring and you're going to get it. So just five years in the game, you know, like you spot so many guys, you know, who mm. are close to the top or some at the top already. You know, mm. how proud are you like for you to just you know, like kind of you're you're still an amateur I mean, in a way. Yeah, and you're I'm, aspiring. I'm amateur, yes. I mean, I I won't say I'm proud because obviously I have, um, I, I, I just started boxing, but I've been an athlete for a long ass motherfucking time. I know, I've I know, been I know. for a long time. You know, so I know what it is to to compete, to train, to have goals and ambitions, and to have. Uh, um set you know um things that you need to achieve boxing it just happens to be the next thing that i need to achieve and I know i'm not talking about achieving it on a local level i need a world championship belt you know and i'm going to get it and i'm going to get it this year in uh, 2022 one of these two. beginning of 2022 or the end of 2021 i'm going to get it and uh i mean um I'm, I won't say I'm proud. I mean, if I want to do a reflection and look back and say, oh, you know what? I've done this, I've done that. I can say I'm proud of it, but I can also tell you portions of my life that I've slagged off. You know, I, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Or I was supposed to fight this guy and I, I maybe I chickened out or I was supposed to spar this guy. I, was, I didn't do what I was supposed to do. I didn't, you know, there are a lot of things I haven't done well that I, I know personally, you know. Um, 
But, you know, I'm grateful for where I'm at. You know, not a lot of people can boast of being where they are after four years of boxing. You know, I'm, I'm grateful for where I'm at. You know, I'm grateful for the people that are around me. I'm grateful for the help that I've received. Um, if I was as serious <coughs> as I, I believe I should have been, I should have been maybe 15 and 0 right now to 18 and 0 uh, with 18 knockouts. But, you know, um, the pandemic and other things, reasons that I've slagged off are making me 9 and 0 right now. You know, so regardless, I'm grateful for where I'm at. You know, I'm happy with the progress I'm making and I'm looking forward to uh moving forward moving up in the ladder and moving up quicker than um, i expect to yeah i mean <clears throat> i think as for you like i mean there's there are big things out there for you i tell you that like you have fans as well nigerians are are really behind you and i'm one of the, i'm one of those guys who are behind you and i like that you know a lot of fans in the, in the, in the arena and yeah. i i hope one of these days I would definitely be there live to support you, you know, because I have to all buy a pay per view, like something like you know, he has to, I have to, you know what I mean? Like you, like you show me that anybody can do anything you put your mind into, you know. Anybody. So I mean, you're an inspiration. I have to tell you that. So sure. now, so now, April seventeenth, we're looking to uh, you fighting the game. I'm looking uh, forward to that. Now you know that we're not finishing this interview without some controversial stuff. Where they go, you know, you know, you know, as some Nigerians have been there. So now, as it be, so now some Nigerians don't come at you before, say, you know, about that to the Joshua matter, you know. So I want to ask you about about that. Let's talk to me about that Sky Sports interview. I know Sky Sports have interviewed you a couple of times, and uh, the last time they interviewed you, they said you were. Uh, you are prepared to help Tyson Fury beat uh, uh, Anthony Joshua. So, a lot of Nigerians, when I when I saw that uh, that the, the the article, you know, I was like, you know, sorry, let me. Remember. I was like, hmm, uh, how our brother go help uh, our enemy prepare for a brother? So, that's that. But after reading it, after I read it, I was like, oh, this is not what he said why the mislead you know what i mean so what do you have to say about that people saying that oh <clears throat> why is why are you helping why you, why are you willing to help that's free prepare to uh for the joshua i mean it, it still goes back to um this is not my first rodeo you know i've been in the news since i was 16 years old you know i was i was one of the best basketball players in all of africa when i was 16 years old i came to the jordan classic i've I've had ESPN, I've had people write stuff. You know, I've had blogs say nasty stuff about me. Um, I'm not I'm not here to say Sky Sports said anything bad about me because they've only showed me love. You know, I mean the first interview No, no, but the the, the person we put that title. That title. Um that they to get they, me. No more that, no that, that, no that, that title that title was not appropriate in a way because it made it seem like you're you're just like offering yourself out there like you know what i mean like you are you are a, a prospect you are a monster six nine undefeated like uh, that's not supposed to be like that but uh, like some nigerians just 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 had people say people talk about the title and didn't even go through the you know the article you know yeah i mean when i was a kid also i didn't really read articles like that i saw a title you know and i would make my conclusion from it very nigerian in us you know now nah, nah, so would it be no, yeah, I mean, Nigerians are always like that. Stuff and you see complete sports or you see brillas, you know, all those, you know, Okocha, Dazzles, you know, whatever. You know, you just go with the headlines and, you know, they start making your conclusions from the headlines. And I'm sure that media organizations know this. You know, that's why they, they make headlines big, you know, so that, but they know a lot of people don't read. And um, that's the unfortunate part. You know, I'm not going to try to say that I'm not a, I, I'm not one of them. I'm one of the people that will read headlines too, you know. But when it come, when it when when it hits home, that's when you realize that you need to always start reading the complete story because now it's like I, I said. I mean, I, we talked about uh, um, Tyson Fury coming to Miami, and you know, hey man, so do you think that you can spar Anthony Tyson Fury? Oh yeah, great man. We have a lot of. Miami is a, is, a, is a hotbed for heavyweight training right now. We have Philip Grovich, we have Cassius Chain, we have Christian Thune, 
we have uh, we have a lot of heavyweights. Even if you want to go down the the cruiserweight round, you know, Isaac Chamberlain was here for a long time. <clears throat> uh, Unil Dorticos was he is he is here. You know, uh, we have a lot of good heavyweight prospects that you can really, really train and get quality sparring every day of the week. We had Trevor Bryan. I was sparring Trevor Bryan less than two weeks ago, who is a current WBA um, champion. You know, so if you want to come to Miami, it's a great place for you. You know, what they asked me as to what do you think about your power? I was like, well, I believe I'm uh, I have deadly power. You know, I can, I, you know. I can definitely show him a thing. I mean, I don't know if I can show Taz Fury a thing or two because he's seen a whole lot, you know. All of a sudden, three days after, they said I was I was trying to prepare Anthony uh, Taz Fury for Anthony Joshua's, you know, whatever. I mean, the Sky Sports interview was kind of weird. Not not the interview. The 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 headline was kind of weird because I felt some type of way. But like I the said, in, the Sports interview was the interview was good if you read it. It was a very yeah, good, read it. good if portion you of read it. That's that's the key word there. Yeah. If you read it, you have yeah. to read. And like I said, people that don't read, I don't blame them because I was one of the guys before that I don't read stuff. I just take the headline. But what I'm saying is that Sky Sports has shown me a lot of love. I love those guys, man. Richard Demerell and all those guys. They're amazing dudes. You know, but the the, the backdrop, what's the fallout of what they did was that Nigerian newspapers took it to another level. You know, then I saw headlines from Nigeria saying Nigerian Akbejuri volunteers to help Tyson Fury beat Joshua. I was like, oh, bro, it's not be so like which one is all these ones now? But it was just like a fallout. He, he does it, he does it some Nigerian media, eh? That they play into exactly. that 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 sentiment as well. Like it's crazy. So, I mean, but you also have to understand that you know the business model of boxing is to create controversy. So that's why, in as much as I feel some type of way, I'm not mad at it. You know, and I'm sure that whoever Joshua is, I've never met him before, I never spoken to him before. But I'm sure he understands what's going on too. You know, they need to create a villain. You know, they need to create a. It's it's all a game. Of yeah, yeah, money. yeah. But you're you're not a villain because you don't talk trash yeah, about but anybody. They have to create somebody. They have to create somebody that's yeah. going to be against that guy. You know. Yeah, and yeah. But you're not against that. Joshua. That's the thing. Like you've never met I him. Mean, I, I was you the know? biggest fan for a long time. I'm still a good fan of his. You know, as yeah. I start getting better in boxing, I'm gonna. My fandom is gonna move to other boxers, and hopefully one day we can get in the ring together. If that happens, you know. And yeah, it's not, yeah. It's not because I, I I don't like him or I hate him or I like him too much. It's just we're competitors, you know. It's boxing. We're not. We're not. I'm not trying to. I'm, we're not trying to kill each other. We're trying to, you know. We're trying to move the sport forward. It's a sport. We're competing. Yeah. You know, same thing with Deontay Wilder. I'm friends with Deontay Wilder, but if if he has a belt and I'm ready for a belt, we gonna fight. Uh, I, have you not sparred at Deontay Wilder? No, we haven't sparred yet. No, uh. I don't think we're sparring yet. So what do you make of uh okay let, what let, now what do you make of uh Joshua versus Fury you know the potential fight like if it happens when it has let's say with and when it happens um, um how, do, how do you see that fight playing out technically technically um I have uh, I have two people winning I have Tyson Fury and Joshua winning mm. Joshua lately and this is just my personal opinion joshua lately has struggled through the the last after five rounds you see a, a type of struggle in joshua that wasn't there before when he's like in the when he, in his early part of his career he wasn't struggling like that after first five rounds now you start to see that struggle you know and that's why you see him kind of pacing himself through the first four rounds so that he can have that you, you think he's becoming more defensive Mm -hmm. like thinking like thinking first before he strikes no i think that comes from a loss you know for example um it, when you lose a fight you you take stock and you start really evaluating yourself and you know realizing that okay i'm not iron man i'm not i'm not you know and i've been there before i've been there in my own little way you know i've been knocked out before in sparring you know and after i got knocked out i started realizing that okay you know what i'm not i'm not iron man you know, I'm not invisible. You know, I might be big and strong, but all you need is a punch to come in the right place and you will go to sleep. And that happened to me before in sparring. So I'm not, then you start, you start really thinking through a lot of stuff you do. You know, that's why you see that, um, you, for example, you watch the first uh, Anthony Joshua and, and the Ruiz fight. You know, you can see that, you know, after he knocked him down to the third round, he had that invisibility cloak, like, oh, I'm on Joshua, I'm bigger, I'm stronger, let me go and beat this guy and kill him. That's when he got clocked. And after that, he was like, you can see that conviction, like, oh, 
Namibides. You know, when I was on the floor, it's like Jesus Christ, Namibides. I'm in a foreign land. I'm in New York City. My 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 knees on the on the canvas. I'm looking at the ref. I got hit two times. I'm down. You know that that you can as a boxer, you can feel that thought process. Like, God damn. You know, the, the, there's certain things you can't control. So you watch the second fight and you see the immediate growth process. You see that my guy has realized that this is boxing. This is, there's no mature shit about this. We're about to box. And I mean, when I watch fighters, I watch their feet and you watch Anthony Joshua's feet throughout that fight. Those people will say that, okay, you know what? He was running, he was this. But if you watch his feet, his feet were perfect the whole fight. You know, his feet were balanced, stable. He was boxing and he was boxing strong. So um, to me, the second fight was a masterclass of boxing. If you want to learn how to box, if you know boxing and you want to learn how to box and you want to erase the sentiment of what happened in the first fight, go watch Anthony Joshua in the second fight. And watch, just don't, don't watch his hands, don't watch his face, don't watch his body, his lean body, just watch his feet. And you see that his feet were perfect for, four, for 12 rounds. And he got the win. You know, so now I can, you, you tend to feel like, okay, he's starting to think, okay, how can I, how can I move on from the pretty boy Floyd Mayweather who's invincible to the money Mayweather who is a masterclass boxer now, you know? So I think he's going through that transition, but with transitions in boxing come with lagging behind, you know, sometimes you lose some things and you gain some things. He's losing that cloak of invincibility and going into the, the legendary status where I'm now a boxer. I'm going to do what it takes to win this fight. You know, that's why you see that against Pulev in the first round, nothing happened. You know, like nobody threw any punches. He was thinking throughout the whole time. In the second round, action started coming. In the fifth round, you know, there was more action. Why? Because I, I think, I don't know about him, but I think that he's realized that after five rounds, he, he, he loses. No, he, 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 dropped, he dropped Pulev in the third round, though. He yeah, dropped he dropped him. him, but still, he didn't go rush him. Yeah, but he could, have, he, 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 could have finished, he could have finished him if he, he wanted to. He could have finished him, but, but the maturity, that's where the maturity came in now, you know? Mm. For example, when he fought Dillian White, after he dropped him, he was smiling in his face and kept going at him. Joshua would not do that again. He dropped, He went and did the same thing for Andy Ruiz because obviously Deontay Wilder had knocked out Brazil the, the week before in, in two minutes. So I guess he wanted to do the same thing and, you know, he got dropped and he started, that 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 growth came in through the loss. With Pulev, he dropped him in the third round, but he came out to box after that. He didn't go rush into him. So that's where that maturity factor comes in now, you know, because he knows that, okay, if I can drop you in the third round, that means that your mind is going to start playing tricks on you and you cannot last another four rounds, especially if I just keep a jab in your face, which is what he did. So that's where the master class of boxing comes in. That's where the maturity, that's where the growth, that's where like the sound mind. And that's the thing that the fans don't see because we study boxing. You know, we study, I, I'm, I'm reading you as a person. I'm thinking about what you're thinking. My punches are telling me how you're feeling. Your breathing is telling me where to punch. You know what I'm saying? So being, being that what is said, I think that uh, if, but still with that, I think that if the fight between Joshua and Fury goes five rounds, Joshua wins. But if he goes 12 rounds, Fury wins. So Joshua has to knock out Fury within five rounds. I don't think Joshua can go past 10 rounds with Fury. Well, I don't, I don't think, think so. He... How come uh, Otto, 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 so Otto, Otto, Otto Wallin, Otto Wally, Otto Wallin took a Fury to distance and almost stopped him. So how, how yeah, can... But how... Fury is... Yeah, but you, you can't, you can't judge, you can't, you can't make a prediction on a fight based on a previous fight. Boxing will teach you that, you know, styles make fights. You know, that's why I'm just comparing styles now. Um, if Joshua attains the growth level that I'm talking that I just described, he will, him and his coach will devise a means to beat Tyson Fury in, in 10 rounds, you know, but if Fury does what Fury does, Fury will beat him in 12, you know, cause Fury is a jab, pop, pop, run, jab, pop, pop, run, jab, do all that nonsense stuff, jab, jab. You know, keep a jab in your face and the Fury uh, that but, we know. But Fury said recently that he's going to try come forward, you know. Uh, like he did, gonna, like he did with uh, uh, Ward. You have to understand that 
Tyson, um, Joshua is 240 pounds, 230 pounds. Deontay Wilder is 212 pounds. So you can come forward and you can eat um, Deontay Wilder's punch. You know, if you put Deontay Wilder on the back on his back foot, he's not going to. He's not gonna. Deontay Wilder needs to set to fire a right hand. You know, if you walk him down, he's not going to set. If you walk, uh, if you walk uh, Anthony Joshua down, he will push you back. So you can't walk forward on Anthony Joshua. That's just talk. It's not going to happen. Oh, you know, Joshua is heavy enough, and he's skilled enough and athletic enough to absorb you coming forward. So another potential fight, uh, Usyk, uh, uh, Joe Joyce. Um. I think Usyk beats Joe Joyce. Why? Because of the dexterity behind Usyk. Now, Joe Joyce, you have to catch. Before you knock me out, you have to catch me, right? You have to catch what you're going to punch. I don't think Usyk has the speed to catch Joe Joyce. Sorry, I don't think Joe Joyce has the speed to catch Usyk. I think Usyk will run around him and just tap, tap, jab, tap, right, jab. You know, but really but, but, but do you think that we get him to win? We all know. We we all know. Do you think that we're getting the win because we are in the professional now? And some judges see aggressiveness. They score aggressiveness when you are aggressive yeah, in a fight. You they have give you the, though, right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, uh, because they don't bring generalship. Yeah, cool. But in the pros, you have to. Connect. What about the new uh, Joe Joyce jab that he developed? You saw that against uh, the, the Dubois. Don't forget, Dubois is a stand-up guy. Dubois is a tough guy. That works against tough guys. You think he's not a tough guy? You think he's a smart guy? Usyk knows that Joyce is 250 pounds. He's not going to stand there with Joyce. Usyk is like 215 pounds. He's a smaller guy. So what is he going to do? He's going to tap, tap, run, tap, tap, run, tap, tap, run, fire, jab, run away. You know, if you do that for five rounds, you're frustrating me. So I'm. what am I going to start doing? I'm going to start like chasing you and trying to catch you, trying to catch you. What am I doing? I'm using energy that I'm not supposed to use. But you're already in your rhythm, right? You're still doing your tap, tap, and you're running, running, and going away, tap, tap, run away, right hand, tap, tap, you know? So that's how Usyk wins the fight. So I don't see, I don't see Joe Joyce beating. I mean, Joe Joyce is my man. I love the kid, man. I love his style. I don't, I like his style. I don't love his style, but you know, styles make fights. You know, I don't. Uh, Usyk is, uh, Usyk is not stupid. You know, he knows that Joe Joyce outweighs him, outpowers him, outmuscles him, out everything him, but doesn't outmove him. You know, and Usyk has a perfect jab too. You know, so. Um, I don't see, personally, I don't see Joe Joyce winning that fight. Well, I, um, I, I mean, I support Joe Joyce to win that fight. Um, I support Joe Joyce too, but... You know, him, guy, be, him, be, him, 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 being, him being Nigerian, like, in yeah, that, yeah. I, I remember that on a Dubois fight. I remember that on a Dubois fight. Yeah. A lot oh, of people, I, 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 did, I don't like Dubois like a lot, that. A lot, a, lot, really a, like lot, a lot of people said Dubois was going to, was going to win. That's yeah, what all of them said. I told you, like, you can't... I was, one of those, I was one of those guys that said... Right. Juju's wins yeah. and he did. So I yeah. I'm still saying now that when that fight happens, it's not gonna be like the first time when they fought in the amateur. You know, that's a different case. Okay. But you also understand that Usyk has gotten better too. Yeah, but got in a little bit slower. Okay, because he has to put on more, you know, more weight, you know, more muscle, you know what I mean? So that also plays a part. It's not like yeah. he cannot come, he cannot he cannot come um uh let's say um 220 you know but against joe joyce joe joyce would just like walk him down and bully him around no, i believe no, joe joyce well, that's the mistake you're making you're mm -hmm. you're looking at usik as a guy who will stand with you no usik no no he, the guy the, uh, usik is a mover okay usik is a mover yeah. uh, at the same so time you walk mover down I you I have I to chase him down, and that's energy that you're wasting. Well, maybe, maybe Joe Joyce will have to establish the jab then. Just train the jab. Joe, I think for Usyk to win this fight, he has to drop weight against Usyk. <laughs> that would be too. I you mean so. for Joe Joyce to win this fight? For Joe Joyce to win this fight, Joe Joyce has to lose a lot, at least ten pounds, to be able to run with Usyk. That's my opinion. Okay. Anyway, brother, I really appreciate the fact that uh, you came on the show. Like your knockout, like that <laughs> that video is doing numbers. That's kind of the first video of you that is really doing numbers. You know, more than two thousand yeah. views now. Well, I, 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 I never believed it. You know, it, it's still it's amazing. So, April seventeenth is when you become you'll be stepping out again to do your demolition uh, job, and against 
I don't know who is going to be a game, but I don't expect you to fight. Whatever it is, top, I, don't, I, don't, I don't expect to fight top 15 now because you're still developing I don't as a have fighter. A problem with that, you know. So, I think my coach right now believes that anybody that can get it, that's, that's how. But, 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 I, but I have to say, though, I'm seeing some of Glenn Johnson in you, like this is style. Yes. I mean, yes, absolutely. You know, it's kind of like any coach. You know, any coach is going to transfer what they know. You know, mm. like you see uh, the way you throw the left hook. It does the same way. It's kind yeah, of similar. Yeah, like if, you know, if you see um, who's the Antiwaters coach? Um, the the legendary amateur coach. Yeah. Um, um what's the name again? Uh, well, is it J J Diaz is his coach, right? The one you really. you you mean the one the one is the one is sacked. Yeah, the one he fired. You know, you can see that they have the same similar. Capabilities. If you watch Rob McCracken from old, you see the same thing in Joshua. You see the same thing in Carl Froch. You know now, Tyson Fury has changed, changed trainer, so you don't really see anything. So with Glenn Johnson, you know you see the same. You know, walk him down, out jab his ass, block and slip whatever, and return punches. You know, so you see that in us. You know, us that train under Glenn. You mean uh, 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 Mark Mark Brillen was the other one called the one. Mark Brillen, yes. Yeah. So Mark Brillen and Deontay Wilder, they fight in this. They look the same when they're boxing. Super long, thin guys. They jab the same and they throw the right hand the same way. You know, so Mark Brillen has the same style as Deontay Wilder. You know, they come from the same tree. So that's how he always. Yeah, but Mark Brillen doesn't rely on his right hand though. Like he, he was a he was a very no, good. No, no, he doesn't rely. He doesn't rely. And now. Deontay Wilder relies on his right hand because obviously if you're doing something a hundred times and it's working a hundred times, you start doing it a hundred and one mm. times, you know. So Mark Brillen didn't rely on him, but if you, if you look, if you watch Mark Brillen, you see the jab the same, the stance the same, the way they throw the right hand the same. You know, obviously Mark Brillen is a smaller weight class, so it's not gonna connect and have the same effect as a heavyweight division, you know. So it, it's it's like that, you know, with Glenn Johnson, you know, he teaches us his style, but we also have another trainer who's Jose Roman, who's a more of a technical person who teaches us like the tricks. As as you evolve, he brings he brings more stuff to you. He gives you more stuff to to deal with, you know. So yeah, that's, um, yeah that's nice. Johnson is our is kind of our style because that's what we know right now. You know, he's the tough guy. You know, walk him down, make him breathe. He's a real warrior. Down that tree, be a fucking warrior and just dominate. You know, so that's kind of what well, it's worked for me. It's worked for me over the course of my 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 career. You know, I just don't want people to breathe through me. You know, just if you're gonna be in a if you're in a fight, you're gonna know that you're fighting today. You know that's how it is for us. But um, I think uh, I think we have a lot in store, man. We have a lot. We're gonna we're gonna make our country proud, and we're gonna make this happen. Definitely, but I really appreciate it. So, what's your message to Nigerians out there? Like some Nigerians will, will be saying, "I want me you like uh, address them for pigeon." Some will be with the yeah. get one kind of feeling. They toss all those kind. Of, I don't want me to address those ones. They get a kind of feeling. Just say you know, like uh, Anthony Joshua. I beg for pigeon. Yeah, I beg. Don't be I don't like him. Don't be I like him. You know, I'm, I'm indifferent. To, uh, I don't know him. I, I don't. I mean, I, he was he was one of the first. But I but I but I more make a PG. I don't know the guy like that. Uh, when, made I, a year when, well. I the box, when I first started the box, I was his biggest fan. I am a big fan of his still. So I remember I remember I say when I did when I first started the box, I tell people say, "Oh, Muna, Muna follow this guy. I'm more get one Niger guy with the box, man. Muna follow this guy, Anthony Joshua. Nobody agreed here my side that time." You know, but after the Klitschko fight, everybody can't jump on the guy matter. Like, I can't say, I should be, I don't tell them about this guy since now. Now I see the guy, you know, but now, you know, people, they, people, they try, do what they need to. And I, I understand it because now business, you know, understand. But, you know, all, all now for us, make, we make our country proud, you know. We just and soon, and soon, and soon, and soon. So, so I just want, I just, I just want to thank you. For coming to the show, I appreciate it. And uh, you'll be one of the one you'll be one of those guys who be saying, man, anytime I highlight like this, you know, they reply. That way that thing come what that that time with that thing come out. When I when I highlight you, you you respond well. You're like, just send me the link. I, I read down, do everything. I say, ah, so yeah. I really want to thank you. You know, I don't feel thank you enough, so I really want to thank you very well. I don't like you. Thank you, man. I no need to thank me now. Now, now, now you did now you did like that. Like the ginger me now, they make me even like like now, who now? Nigerian fighters, now they didn't tell me they make me even again because imagine say I get this, I get this platform and they talk about American fighters all the time. You the type person in a way, okay. like you know, you they do they cover something, but your own not your people not D. 
You understand? Yeah, yeah. As I say, some some of them will be saying, they know, you get one guy I know like that, um, and I'm that guy, but he didn't have himself. You understand? Yeah. He do like, you know, in, 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 in a fact, I don't, I don't want to mention it, but in a fact, you don't win one prize for that, for one tournament like that. So, yeah. person will no, person will know me, contact her, in the, in the form for me, they do anything, and I was like, God, you never, never know your name. Okay, but you don't win that that stuff, that tournament. I'll tell you after we don't finish this one. You don't win that tournament. Oh, you go to like you grow up for Lagos. You know, they say the Nigeria don't do anything for you. They you they street and street for grow up. So like, oh, not grow up for street. I, I grew up in the street for street as well. So what the go? Which can be that be that one? I go that you know, understand? This platform not mainly for our Nigerian and African borders. You call now my fight. I'm seventy percent of the crowd in Nigeria for food here. Mm. No, I Ima- Ima- imagine, from. imagine when when you don't believe you. Imagine where your name will not go go go, go far more now. Imagine how many Nigerians. Nigerians Niger- Niger- will fly from Nigeria come. They fly from London come. Even with the lockdown, they fly from uh, Atlanta come. Like fifty, like thirty will come from Atlanta. You know, say Nigerian Nigeria people there. I get like ten people show from uh, from uh, Houston. I get like fifteen people show from DC. I get people who come from Missouri, from LA. You know, Nigerian people now have food here. And the way that they shout, say, you say, we wonder, say, or more. I never blow like this now, but they're going to make you feel like, say, or more. You know, something. Because and then you can use that, 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 you know, that, 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 like um, uh, and I jab with this. Now our house with this. Now we get this one. Now, so now our first thing with this. Now our house with this. Now our arena with this. When I see that flag, I go say Nasu, 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 Nasu. I really, I, I hate you, I mean, brother. I, know, I don't get too many flags where I go reason. I only want real flag. I go so reason. your message to them now, to our Nigerian brothers and sisters, where they watch. I'm a, I'm not just a show love, man. Those way, like I thought, those way one hate. Mona come to the hate. You know, no, no, we don't, we don't, we don't need hate. We don't need hate for for them. Like we, you know, we don't, we don't need no. You know, I don't say we, you don't need. We, we need don't need. Oh, we we need. We need love. We need love from them. With the hate, if I, if there no hate, or I won't say hate, but if there no criticize, I know we get better. You know, sometimes I'll go to a comment section on a video of me, and I'll be like, ah, I'm more. This guy, this guy, they talk true, shah. You know, maybe I guys develop. Let's go talk. Say, oh, I don't get. Um, Maybe I know get dominating jab, and I go really look on. Uh, me, I they feel like say my jab they dominate, you know. But if I go back and look at the language, I'll be like, man, if I say my jab, I already dominate the way this guy they see him. So if I go gym tomorrow, I'll go work on this thing, you know. So yeah, now sure. within the gym, jam may be that. But if everybody does the love, 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 the day when they go beat you, they want, they want to talk, say, ah, I've been no one tell this guy, but this guy no savvy. You know, but I don't want to tell them since. But if you they, if you they criticize, I'm not gonna say hate, but if you, I need, I need criticism. Because the truth is that I just started boxing that for less than five years ago, four years ago, you know. So um, people not only watch boxing long, longer than me, I started to box, or longer than me, like, longer than me, I begin to watch boxing too, you know. So um, I appreciate all the love. I pre- appreciate all the criticisms, even the hate, self. You know, some people they hate me, self. All join. But I, I know, I know, believe the age people they don't know you. Yeah, so you never like do the, the you don't know you, you never, you never do the anything. They just like, I think they, some of them they sentimental. You understand? Yeah. yeah uh, but yeah, when you yeah. as you as you clearly hear now, some of the love they will see and say, ah, it's kind of not the truth. Yeah, not the truth. Yeah, be that one. You feel me? Yeah. So? But like, you know, uh, I understand it because, like I said, I've been an athlete my whole life. I've been hated. I've been loved. I've been, uh, you know, all this is nothing new to me. You know, I don't, I don't, people, people, I don't get newspaper, we don't write article. You know, I get, when I did Miami Dolphins that time, you get one newspaper guy, we be say, the guy just keep my matter. And I believe that the reason why they caught me for football be that. Because mm-hmm. the guy who does the right nonsense, oh, this guy, no sabi, this guy, I don't know why they here. And this guy, now, nah, news guy, we be say, they do, they watch every time. So that guy was really shaping the opinions of people that didn't know me, you know. But when I've gone through stuff like that, you know, none of this thing, they bother me because at the end of the day, I have to do what I do. You know, if I go back to my first YouTube video, people will be like, oh, this guy sucks, this guy is terrible. But now, you know, the 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 wordings are starting to change. You know, when I was three and oh, the things they were saying are different from when I was nine and oh, right now I'm nine and oh. Because one, I didn't focus on them, I focused on my craft. Like at the end of the day, my job is to box and beat people. <laughs> so my job is not to litigate with you two people. <laughs> no, <laughs> you know, no, my no, job no. is to literally go to the gym. Like, like you, like you, like you yourself, you say you did learn from some of the two that they talk. You will see and yeah. say, mm, "This guy grass more. Make I work on that one." So 
But it just gets somewhere be say they could just like their their coconut their head too much. No, this one, this one's day. This one's day. Mm-hmm. They know you'll be change all this ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I just talk so so. <laughs> some of us, we know say we, we are love, we are loving, we are good and loving people. But at the same time, some of yeah. us just some of us just dating man. Especially say they say, say man, you know they follow, they follow. But just they like uh, yeah, get one kind of way. Anyway, sure. I really thank you a lot for coming to the platform. Yeah. Uh, guys, support Boxy Block Setter, support Ray Block Media. Some some of those guys want some some guys from America say they want to I take this stuff down. But I don't know, say man, my strong way. way. I think I said Nigerian will carry last. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, so, bros, thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. God bless you, bro. Pleasure, man. God bless you, too. Stay blessed.